So, our last video for this series of Punnett Square exercises will involve the Labrador Retriever. Why the Labrador Retriever? The Labrador Retriever, especially its coloration, is um, manifests the phenomenon called epistasis. Epistasis is a phenomenon is a genetic phenomenon where in one gene from another locus located in another location can also influence the trait. As in this case of our Labrador retrievers, since most of the Labrador retrievers are black, but still the color will differ if there is because of another gene, the extension of pigment gene. So that's the reason why Labradors come in three colors. The black one, which is the dominant one, then we have the yellow, and the rarest one is chocolate. How are we going to identify the genes or the genotype of a black Labrador? So for black Labradors, usually if it's capital letter B and capital letter E, that's a black Labrador. If it's, so regardless if this is a big B or a small B or a small E or a big E, this represents the black Labrador. For yellow Labradors, So it should be EE. -E. So regardless, regardless if these are big B or small B, or both are small Bs, and we have also a big B, these are yellow Labradors. How about the chocolate Labrador? So chocolate Labradors will have So regardless if we have a small letter E or a big letter E, as long as both are small letter Bs over here. So that is how you're going to remember the codes. Again, for black, both um, the dominant genes are present. Either both of the dominant genes are present. That's a black Labrador. For yellow Labradors, regardless if this is a cap both are capital Bs, but then again, the extension of pigment will override will override the effect. So that means since this is both are small letter E's, meaning the pigment will not show. So regardless if both are capital letter Bs, so this Labrador is yellow because of this one. This cancels the color out. For chocolate, so regardless if this is a big E or a small E, as long as both of the pigments for the for the blackness is recessive and the extension of extension of color, there is a dominant trait of the extension of color that is a chocolate Labrador. I hope you understand the mnemonics In, um, I have an example here on my notebook I think this was my first exam back in the day Jersey this happens to be my um, my cousin's dog Jersey late Jersey is a female black Labrador and her genotype is B, B, E, E. She was mated with Bigfoot. Bigfoot was a male yellow Labrador. So Bigfoot is B, B, E, E. Yellow Lab. Is there a possibility for Jersey and Bigfoot to produce a chocolate offspring? Because usually with chocolate Labradors, 
they tend to be more expensive than the black or the yellow one. What are the chances for them to produce yellow puppies? Spoiler alert, all of the puppies from this mating happen to be black. But we're just playing with the possibilities, diba? So that's what we do. So how are we go again? We do the law of independent assortment and law of segregation before we do our Punnett square. So this one. And then this one. For this one. And this one also. So these are the possible genes, gene combinations coming from the gametes of the female jersey and the gametes coming from the male Bigfoot. Now we have the combinations. So what would be the possibility? Again, remember the question, does this, this the meeting between a chocolate and not yellow and a black Labrador can yield a chocolate Labrador, what would be the possibilities? And what would be the possibilities also if this, uh, what would be the probability that this meeting will also yield a yellow lab? So shall we start? So again, use this one. So B, B, E, E. And then we have B, B, E, E. Also this one also. Now we're done. Now, again, remember the codes that I told early, uh, that I told you guys earlier. So what would be the phenotype of this one? Since it has the big letter B here and a let, big letter E. So this one is definitely black. Also, this one is black. This one is black. And this one is black. So, in this combination, in this second column over here, all of this is black, phenotypically speaking, or the physical appearance is black. Then we have here, okay, you have two big letter Bs, but you have two small letter Es. And remember, this one is a recessive trait. And if these small letter E's are present, it cancels the appearance of the pigment black. Thus, this one is considered as yellow. Also, this one, 
this one is also yellow and this one is also yellow how about so all of the ones on the third column are yellow labradors now we go to the this one so this is again black because of the presence of th this gene And we also have this gene. So the first two are considered as black. However, the last two rows, if you notice, you have two small letter Bs. And these two small letter Bs and a big letter E is the code for what? Chocolate. So the last two of this fourth column is the chocolate one. And then on the last column, this is a yellow because of this one. Two small letter E's. Also this one is yellow. Oh, no, wait. Sorry. This one is supposed to be... Sorry. I have a mistake. Okay. Anyway, we'll just settle na lang for this one. And this is also a yellow and yellow. So this is how we're going to solve the Labrador Retriever problem. So let's say, first question was, is there a possibility that the committing of a yellow and a black Labrador would yield a, what, an offspring that is a chocolate? Is there a possibility? So of the 16 squares that we have, how many squares do you think would would be the yellow. Actually, for chocolate, uh, it would, would be chocolate. We only have two. So for chocolate, okay, I have to adjust. So chocolate, you have two out of 16 squares times 100. 2 divided 2 divided by 16 that's 0. 0.125 times 100 so that's around 12.5% how about yellow so the yellow labrador we have 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 squares So this is 0.5 times 100. So 50% chances of having a yellow Labrador. For the black, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there were 6 out of 16 times 100. So 6 divided by 16. So that's around 37.5 times 100. So that's point, uh, that's around 37.5%. So that's our, those are the chances that this meeting will yield a black Labrador. So if you have any questions for this one, please do comment. And I hope this will help you with your studying and your preparations for your quiz, for your exam rather. There will be computations 
so i hope if you have any clarifications you can just post it in our group because i'm posting this also in our group chat in our facebook group so i hope you guys know um already know how to do the punnett square problems so next we will have the gene and genotypic frequencies and that will be for another day i'll see you later